Oh, so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that I've been doing this. Um, thank you for showing your uh, love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel. Also, you can do it by way of Patreon, Anchor, the clothing store, and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below. And again, thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you jermaine holder a man who was found guilty on friday of killing two people who opened their alabama home to him and his homeless girlfriend jurors convicted terrence jermaine holder age 41 of capital murder for the shooting of christy lynn pickett age 26 and tommy irvin sherry senior age 58 at the couple's residence in warrior alabama the jury recommended life in prison without possibility of parole officials did not announce a sentencing date jefferson county deputies announced in june of 2019 that they found two people dead at a home in the 3500 block of bethel road quote detectives developed evidence that led them to identifying terence jermaine holder as the offender holder was a, a casual acquaintance of the victims. A Bertina Hicks stated before the arrest that the residents were nice people. She described being woken up and told about the presence of police officers and fire trucks at the scene. Quote, very shocking. It floored me as a good neighbor as they were. The couple were found dead at their home in June 14th of 2019 after Pickett's mother could not be reached. Pickett's mother called 911 when she arrived at the home and no one answered the door deputies made their way inside he stated that both of the victims were looking directly at the killer as they had their lives taken also stated that the victims had been deceased for days prosecutors stated that pickett and sherry had been letting holder and his girlfriend who were both homeless stay at their residence holder gave different accounts of what happened and implicated to others though he confessed he remains locked up at Jefferson County Jail. He was also separately charged for allegedly promoting prison contraband in 2021. Look here. Uh, it is a very sad thing that this took place. I'm not sure why it is that they decided to open up their homes um, to somebody directly off of uh the streets like i said before this isn't uh mayberry this isn't the 1930s or 40s right um this is completely ridiculous even though uh going back to the, the the mayberry andy griffith you know types of days um even still back then doing stuff like this was still dangerous the the way that a lot of people like to bring up the scenario is that it was least likely to happen but things like this still did happen because back then you know people didn't lock their doors they didn't lock their windows all this other types of stuff and you know things would still take place but the main thing here is that for no reason at all should you sit up there and allow somebody that you don't know directly off of the street you don't know their criminal history um you don't know if they have a record you don't know where they are mentally um you don't know if they have any ulterior motives at no point in time should you ever sit up here and open up your home to a potentiality of a stranger being able to have full reign over your house and also full reign over your life because that's clear cut what took place at this moment in time right he being the person that he is sat up there and took their kindness for weakness and because they allowed that to transpire this is what took place now oddly enough i could not seemingly find a picture of the girlfriend and that is a little bit questionable there because i really feel like if it was a full-on black couple that they more than likely would not have opened up their homes that's 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 what i'm realistically feeling here not saying that it's improbable but i'm saying it's less likely you know to take place i'm just looking at america you know but if his girlfriend just so have happened to have been caucasian then they more than likely would have looked at the situation like well we feel sorry for your circumstances uh you know i have a daughter or i have female family members you know i wouldn't want them to be out on the streets 
so i'm going to allow you in and because we're allowing you in you know inevitably we have to sit up there and welcome him you know as well we would just solely like to just welcome you in but you know we're, we're going to be a, a, a welcoming you know type of home and we're going to allow you know both of you guys in i feel like more than likely that's you know what really took place there but like i said before inevitably the downfall of this family was the fact that they allowed a predator to come directly into their house uh not knowing anything about him at all and uh allowing him in a sense to take their lives because if you think about it going back before they initially allowed him in if they never allowed him in that means that he will still be on the streets with his girlfriend which means that these two the family would still be alive at this moment in time which means that the story would not even exist so this is why i sit up there and tell people you have to pay you know very close attention and you know you have to be very cautious of each and every decision that you decide to make in life 